Um, VCU is clearly an essential part of the city and absolutely critical to its future prosperity. At the same time, a couple of issues have arisen recently that I think need um, to be addressed. One is the mayor has basically said that VCU is not fulfilling its agreement on a multi-million dollar commitment that it should have made as a result of that failed real estate deal on Clay Street. And then secondly, there's the issue about whether or not the growth of VCU is actually taking property off the tax rolls that in some ways will harm the capacity of the city to have to tax these properties. What's your sense of those two issues and in particular the role of VCU in the city? We know that any successful future for the city of Richmond has a strong forged partnership between the city and VCU. VCU is part of the state. The city can't really tell VCU what to do in many situations. And a lot of times it's a good faith negotiation and partnership between not just a institution of higher learning, but one of the biggest and most important hospital systems in Virginia. So there needs to be a strong partnership. It is true that as VCU physically expands its footprint, it stops paying real estate taxes locally. And that's an over $100 million impact on an annual basis. So it's a big deal. I genuinely believe through good faith negotiations with VCU, we can work together to find solutions that work for the city and work for the university. And that's what I'll do as mayor. Ms. Mosby. Um, VCU, again, is a, is a big partner in the city of Richmond for many things as we have uh, the young residents of a VCU here in our great city. However, as a former council representative, it was very important to me to make sure that as we were moving forward and we were bringing out development deals, that we were working it in such a way that perhaps a lease could happen, that some other things could happen. We have a lot of different uh, uh, off-the-rolls, uh, real estate road, tax rolls in our, in our city. And so we've got to figure out creative ways so that we cannot continue to be in, in a place where we're not getting the tax dollars. And so I'm committed as mayor to continue to be a partner with VCU, but doing it in such a way that is going to work uh, for the good of our city. Mr. Addison. In a span of one month, VCU came before City Council to explain how the Activation Capital new building was going to be smaller than anticipated, from $50 million investment to $30 million investment. And then a month later, they go say, we're going to look to buy the Altria Research Center for $275 million. I see this challenge of real estate and investment for the things that we know we need. The Activation Capital Center was going to be for research and development, attracting jobs and research money to flow through our city. By shrinking that, we're now shrinking the ability to attract those investments. And instead of taking that, we're looking to $275 million dollar investment untaxed mind you if they purchase this deal and these are the challenges we have with downtown because city hall has not prioritized investing and creating the vibrancy we want to see in downtown's blanket corridor we're letting the vcu have the picking and choosing of what they want to pick for land to invest in it is time for city hall to take control of our land and real estate and create an investment plan for downtown dr avula yeah, we do need to recognize that VCU plays a crucial role in the economic health and the cultural health of our city. You know, in the 24 years I've been here, uh, I've seen the city transform because of investments that VCU has made. Uh, but we also face a significant challenge in that 28% of the property in the city of Richmond is tax exempt, with a huge portion of that being the Commonwealth of Virginia and VCU. And so as mayor, I will absolutely make sure that we have a positive relationship with VCU as partners, but that I fight relentlessly to make sure that they are making up the uh, tax exemption they have with other financial investments in our city. Uh, it's the only way for us to move forward together as partners. Mr. Neblet. I love VCU and MCV, um, but they're playing hot potato in this matter. They're trying to figure out a way how not to pay the taxes where they already committed to taking on the building. Um, the thing is, I want to make sure I commend the mayor you know, on being transparent and direct in regards to this matter. Uh, we need to turn change into challenging and resistance when it comes to this. Though we have the state, though it's the Dillon rule, we have to have more negotiating and bargaining power. As a mayor in the city of Richmond, I want to make sure that I put my foot forward, even if it get rolled over. I want to make sure that I advocate that we receive more funding from the state. Our first responders, they, they, they serve a lot of the state buildings downtown. We need more revenue. We need more help. Thank you. 